PRF is your personal Pinterest board, but better. So first off, we can get PRF by going to PRF.com, clicking on Get PRF, and then choosing the platform we are using. And then we can support Natasha and Victor, if possible. Thanks to these two wonderful people for creating such a great tool. And while you're at it, if you have time, go to my Gumroad to download this PRF shortcuts on Windows. It's free and may be helpful to you. One of the nice things about PRF is that you can use it commercially. In addition, you can look at all the key bindings, the complete list of key bindings, at the support page on PRF.com. PRF supports many file image formats and allows us to drag and drop images anywhere into the scene and allows us many ways of organizing those images. We can simply just drag and drop and there's our image in our scene. Another concept we have in PRF is the concept of copying versus linking. So in copying, which we can observe here in the setting, if we have this option, embed local images to in save file checked off, we have copying enabled. And basically what we have is we have a copy of an image stored with the board rather than linking it to the board. This allows it to be robust against broken links, but is space inefficient and can take a while to load. With linking, we have embed local images in save file checked off. And this allows us to link an image rather than copying it to the board, making it more efficient and faster to load, but can cause broken links. So to demonstrate that, this board is using linked. And so if we delete one of the images and then we close and open, we have this missing uh, external images and then we have to manually relink it. Both of these are great ways of working and it depends on how you best utilize your reference images and how you would like to use PRF. Let's say you want to copy over another image from one board to another. So you can just go to the PRF icon, click on PRF. Now you have another PRF instance. You can just select the images you want and then control C to copy, control V to paste. It might take some time, and that's with copying. So it'll be much faster with linking. I'm going to be going over some shortcut groups that I found that were really helpful for me. They're grouped into utility, image controls, and camera controls. So first off, we have locking. So we can lock the canvas, so that locks it so that we can't manipulate the images accidentally. And we can do that with control R. And we'll notice there's a padlock at the bottom right there. And we can unlock with control R again. We can also lock the window from being moved. So if we right click and drag, we can move the window. But if we want it to stay still, we can just do control W and that will lock the window. And now we can't move it. So if we want to unlock it, we just do control W again. So we also have window controls. So if we want to maximize the window, we can just do control F. And if we want to bring it back to the previous size, we can just click and move the canvas. We can also increase and decrease the opacity of the whole window. So that's just control and then number pad minus to decrease it. And then number pad plus to increase it back. So let's say we have this canvas right now. It's not very optimized, so we can just do control O to optimize it. But we can also do control shift P to pack all and optimize. So now we're both optimized on the canvas level and on the image level. Another thing we might want to do is make our whole window transparent to mouse. So this will allow it so that it doesn't get interacted with the mouse. So like when you're drawing, you you can have this in overlay mode and doesn't get in any interaction with the mouse so that you can just see your scene 
and draw at the same time. So to enter transparent to mouse, just do control T and there will be a warning. And it will say that you will have um, mouse events ignored and you would just press OK. And if you use this mode a lot, you would just say, do not show this again. And so now my mouse actually doesn't see the scene at all. And it's much more helpful if we just do control minus and I start drawing in the background like that. And so if we want to disable it, like most things in this program, we'll have to do the same command again. And so in order to do that, we would just do alt tab and now we would do control T. And now we're no longer transparent. Some additional operations we can do include loading the most recent scene and that can be done with control shift L. We can also export images. So we have the option to export all images with control alt I or we can export selected images with control shift I. And this will send these images to their own independent image files as seen here. We can also export the scene with control E. And they'll export the scene as is into an image. Finally, we can also open the source folder of images with control shift O when you're trying to look for images. We also have image controls. First off, we have color. So we can change every single image in this scene all at once to grayscale with control, alt, and G. And we can reverse that with control, alt, and G. If we want to do just a selection of images, we can select those images or a single image and just do alt, G. And then to bring back the color, if it's available, then alt, G again. We can also show the color code of images. So this is very helpful for when you're trying to get a certain color. Uh, and so we can do that with, so it's left mouse hold S and we'll pop up this window. And then you can just copy the color values and you can just scan with holding down the mouse button, left mouse button and pressing S and you can move around and you'll see the color code and then you can just copy. For alignment and arrangement controls, I mostly just use control P to arrange it optimally. If not, then I use control shift P to do the packing and optimum. If I want to do any other controls, I usually just use images, right click images, align, and then choose whatever I need to. So if we want it to be aligned on the right, on the left and whatnot. We also have transform. So on each image or selection of images, we can rotate by just dealing with the handles right here. And we can scale as well. However, if we want to scale from center, we select an image and then we use alt when we want to do the scaling so that we scale from the center. If we want to flip, we can use the menu to flip an image, but we can also use select an image, alt, shift, and then drag which direction we want. So if I want this to flip upside down, I go up, I drag down, left, right. We can also crop images so if we select an image, you hold down C, then we use our left mouse button, we can crop an image. We also crop a selection of images as well. So hold down C, make a box, and then we can reset this with control shift C. And then we can reset a transform, like say this, with control shift T. We can also change the opacity of images by using by selecting them and then using control alt 
shift and then dragging the mouse using the left mouse button left or right we can also enter slideshow selection so if we have a bunch of images selected we can go into a slideshow with alt s and then we can use the arrow keys to go uh, between them so and if we select all the images, we can just go through all of them. And of course, selecting all the images is control A. We can also enter overlay mode, which is a special mode for being an overlay. So we can enter that by pressing control Y. It will prompt us with this message and similar to the uh, message that occurs with control T when we're trying to do transparent to mouse. And now we have this overlay. And if we want it to be transparent to mouse, we can do that with control T. And we can also change the opacity with uh, control plus and minus with uh, the number pad. And now we have this setup. And to exit, we would just do the alt tab method and get into the window. Control T to get transparency uh, turned off and then control Y to exit overlay mode. We also have camera controls. So for zoom, we have two ways of doing it. We can do middle mouse scroll like this, or we can do left mouse drag while holding Z. So, and to pan, we just hold down middle mouse button and drag. And we can focus on an image by pressing space. And we can use, like with the slideshow selection, left and right arrow keys to move around. If there are any questions, please let me know in, down in the comments. And I'll try to keep the document updated as much as possible on Gumroad. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.